Hello Pranav, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing good. All right, so you've got an interesting project here. So tell me something about it. Uh, this experiment is on um, wind-powered electric vehicles. So um, while the vehicle is in motion, the mini wind generators that are secured will use wind energy to charge the car. Or the vehicle. All right. How did you come up with this idea? Uh, I came up with this idea when um, I was <coughs> sitting in the passenger seat in a car with the windows down while the car was moving, mm -hmm. and I stuck my hand out and I noticed that there was a lot of force or yeah, ca caused by the wind that was created around the surface of the car. So I thought to myself, why not harvest this to benefit the car and increase the range of the vehicle? All right, that sounds like a great idea. So how does it work? Can you tell us, uh, give us a good demo, detailed demo about it? Okay, so this is the prototype. Um, it is a rechargeable RC car with a USB and I took four drone motors and four drone blades and connect and secured them to the front. This is the inside of it. Um, so I connected all of these uh, generators in a series and a series connection is a connection where the voltages will add up so the blades they're not all the same as you can see this blade um, is different from this blade the leading edge of this blade is facing um, th this direction so that means it'll turn counterclockwise and this one will turn clockwise so that will change the positivity and negativity ma making these two opposites so um, I connected these in a series, and in a series connection, it's positive to negative, and, n and negative to positive, and so on. So I brought the two um, end leads from the two, from the first and the last motor, and I noticed that it could not generate five volts by itself. So I found a DC to DC booster. This um, has positive and negative side has po positive and negative sides, and it will provide a stable and constant um, voltage of five volts and um, six hundred milliamps, and it has a USB port for easy connection to charge the car. You mean charge the battery of the car? Yeah, charge the battery of the car. Okay. So in, in inside this compartment. There is a charging circuit and a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. Um, since lithium ion batteries are uh, prone to explosions, a charging circuit is required so it can regulate the amount of voltage that goes towards the battery. So a USB can take in five volts. If fi all five volts went to the lithium ion battery, it would get overloaded. So the charging circuit ensures that that doesn't happen. And now, um, a quick demo. So to simulate the wind, um, I tried many uh, different fans, and I found out that you need to generate um, about 20 miles per hour, which none of regular household fans could do. So I took a hair dryer and I put it on the highest setting and found out that it could generate about 20 miles per hour. Really? Can you, how do you measure the speed of the wind? You measure the speed of the wind using an anemometer. This is a very simple anemometer. Um, so there is a small fan over here. So when, you, when the wind hits it, it turns the fan and it displays the wind speed in miles per hour. So let me switch it on and show you the wind speed. And make sure to put your hair dryer on the high setting. Okay. So 
so this uh, hair dryer will, sh will surely um, turn all these blades on the car. And to measure the voltage that is produced by these four, or, or generated by these four wind generators, I used a multimeter here. So there's a red and black lead that is connected to um, the red and black lead of the generators and it will show how much the generators are producing, how many volts generator is producing before the current goes through the DC to DC boost converter. Okay. So let me switch it on. And what it's are we on measuring voltage or amps? We're measuring voltage and it's on DC current. Okay. Okay. So now I'll turn on the hair dryer. And look at the voltage. So it's generating about 2.3 volts with around 22 miles per hour wind. And this DC to DC boost converter can take um, anywhere from 0.9 volts to 5 volts and um, give out a consistent uh, current or voltage of 5 volts. Um, so this will um, make, so th this will produce enough voltage for this to give a stable current, I mean voltage. So um, when enough voltage and current is being in inputted to this, uh, a red LED will glow, and that will mean that five volts and 600 milliamps are being outputted consistently. So the LED will now glow. Oh, yeah, and then if you take it out, it won't go anymore. Okay. So that means that <clears throat> five hundred that, that means that five volts and six hundred milliamps are being outputted consistently. Now to know if the car is charging or not, you have to switch on the car. And as you can see through the mirror, um that it's blinking rapidly. Mm -hmm. Now what does it mean? It th this means that the car is not being charged. Okay. So now if I charge it, look closely at the light. And then you take it out, oh. it starts blinking rapidly again. Okay, can you do it again? Let's see. Yeah, and the light on the DC DC boost converter will also okay. light up. It's a great demo, brother. Thank you so much. So that means the car is charging. So tell me some interesting things about your project. Um, I learned a lot through this project. I learned uh, that you can't just um, have one wind turbine or, or one wind generator and expect it to produce the amount of volts you need. And also how to connect them to get the desired voltage. You can't connect them in any way. There's a certain way you need to connect them in, which is a series connection. And also building the prototype. That was, it was a very good experience. And as you can see in the things I learned, mm -hmm. I learned many things throughout this experiment. Wow, that's a long list. Okay. All right, so did you face any challenges along the way? Oh, I faced many challenges, um, and it's all recorded in this activity log. Well, what is that? It's a two and a half page log over the span okay. of around four months. Wow, three <clears throat> that, and a half months. Is that how long it took yeah. to build it? Okay. That, that's um, how long it took to form the idea, do the research, and build a prototype. So tell me about one or two challenges that you so, faced. So the first challenge, was to actually turn an, the idea into an actual working <clears throat> prototype. And first, uh, I didn't know how to uh, charge the battery with the, the, the generator. You can't just connect the generators anyway to the battery and expect it to charge. So for that, I researched on different types of batteries. 
I researched on different type of connections and and um, the type of motors you need. Like these are um, drone motors and drone blades. They're they're small enough to fit on this car, and they work. Okay. Um, another problem is when I was looking for an RC car and I dismantled an RC car to see what it would look like inside and see how it actually works, I found out that a regular RC car won't work. You need a rechargeable RC car, not just one where you can just change the batteries. Um, so I found a RC car that has a USB port. It has a USB cable. It charges with the USB. Okay, so, that makes it more convenient. Yeah, it makes it more convenient to charge. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take apart the circuit to charge it. And um, a few other... And uh, another challenge that I had was finding the right fan. I wanted... And with that challenge was another challenge that was connected to it. It was trying to minimize the amount of uh, g mini generators. So with originally, I had uh, thought of coming of making a mesh of around eight or nine mini generators, but then I realized that um, a hair dryer won't work. It has a very small, amount. and then I looked at regular household fans, and I realized that they only gave about five to ten miles per hour. And I needed around 20 miles per hour. So um, I researched on the type, on the way you connect it, and I minimized it to four. Okay, Blades. great. Mini generators. Yeah. So what did you like the most about um, your project? The thing I liked the most was uh, the learning experience <clears throat> in building the prototype. Uh, as I said before, the things I learned were was a lot, and building the prototype was fun experimenting on but by experimenting on uh, what would what would work and what would not work and researching on the things you need to make it very cost effective also um, yeah okay what are the future enhancements that you would like to add to future, your prototype future enhancements to the prototype uh, would be Maybe to conceal the mini generators a little better. Right now they're sticking out and they're not that clean. Another thing would be to get more data on the rotations per minute to see how the max speed it can rotate in and the max voltage it can produce. Because the voltage differs based on the um, amount, the, the based on the speed of the wind that's hitting it. The rotation as when the if the rota if the Rotations per minute is higher, that means more voltage will be produced. Okay. And um, also future uses. Um, this is a, a, an electric car that is an actual version of this prototype. As you can see, there are many uh, mini wind generators around the surface. And, you, and it can be more concealed, but for showing purposes it's out in the open so there are hundreds of mini wind turbines and it can be converted to the desired voltage just like um we did the, i did in the prototype using a dc to dc boost converter and it will continuously charge the lithium ion battery the another reason i chose this was because it has a lithium ion battery which is what most electric cars have today all right so do you think Tesla should build one like this? Oh, well, maybe because they're one of the biggest electric car companies, and uh, so why not harvest the wind yeah, energy? Why, why not and make it wind energy? Increase the range of the car. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Pranam. That was a great demo and a wonderful idea, and uh, I think it's very well executed. Thank you. Okay.